In this video, we're going to cover the psychological disorder, Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects 1-2% to of the senior population age 65 and up. Because this order is neurodegenerative, this means that patients will typically begin by exhibiting a few symptoms of the disease, and over time, the symptoms will become more severe and the patients will typically exhibit additional symptoms of the disease. Motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease include akinesia, or loss of voluntary movement, bradykinesia, or slowness of movement, muscular rigidity, tremors, a shuffling gait, flexed posture, and reduced facial expression. Now, not all Parkinson's disease patients will exhibit all of these symptoms. As an example, tremors are often associated with Parkinson's disease. However, there are some patients with Parkinson's disease that will never exhibit tremors. A term you may have heard associated with Parkinson's disease is Parkinsonism. Parkinsonism refers to this collection of motor symptoms. You should know that just because a patient has these motor symptoms or Parkinsonism does not mean that the patient has Parkinson's disease. In other words, there are multiple causes of these motor symptoms. So when a patient presents with Parkinsonism, what the physician has to do is to gather additional information from the patient and possibly conduct some tests to determine if the patient has Parkinson's disease or not. All right. Those are the motor symptoms. Non-motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease include depression, anxiety, cognitive impairment, and sleep disturbance. This means that Parkinson's disease is not simply a motor disorder. It also has non-motor symptoms. Regarding the cause of Parkinson's disease, unfortunately, we don't know that much. However, it is thought that both genetic and environmental factors are involved. And that's simply because there are a few patients that have a history of Parkinson's disease in their family. However, there are also many patients without a family history of the disease, so presumably environmental factors are also involved. We are beginning to learn more about the biological basis of Parkinson's disease. So the loss of automatic movement and the increased need for voluntary control of movement is believed to be due to the loss of dopaminergic neurons in a brain region called the substantia nigra pars compacta, which is part of the basal ganglia. Since this involves the loss of dopaminergic neurons, a common treatment for Parkinson's disease is dopamine replacement therapy, where patients will receive a combination of drugs including L-DOPA as well as dopamine receptor agonists. And finally, patients with Parkinson's disease will have Lewy bodies, which are abnormal aggregates of alpha-synuclein protein in their neurons and this is something that you can see under a microscope by looking at sections of neurons from the patients. And these Lewy bodies are thought to lead to cellular dysfunction and death, which is what leads to the loss of the dopaminergic neurons and these physical uh, symptoms that we observe. All right. Uh, there's a lot more additional research that's going on trying to find out more about the Parkinson's disease. But for now, this is what you need to know from MCAT. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell icon for notifications. We release new videos every week covering the highest yield content on the MCAT. Plus, you can check out the video description for links to useful resources like our MCAT Prep mobile application.